Yeah, Starhouse came in a vision, and it uh, was a, a vision that seemed really simple, and it seemed so close that I could go to it. And so I went to it, but then it moved, and I had to keep following where the vision moved. And then this came as a place for meeting. Let this place be a meeting point. And that the meeting of circles, and if you continue that and you work with the flower of life, it's a, definitely a calling. It's a calling to which I answered and then we've, we've answered over the years, calling after calling after calling, as the place becomes, expands and becomes more complicated. Along with some of the other sites, it's like the whole landscape then started to become uh, a series of sacred sites, like the, the ones we've been visiting. With this is always the heart. This is a temple dedicated to helping people become better people in body, soul, and spirit, at which point they will feel an inner calling to assist with humanity and the whole earth. And inviting you into a living altar because that's how things change. They are altered at altars, and we think of the building as an altar, as a transformational vessel, as an alchemical vessel, something that works with the elements of earth, air, fire, water, the four directions, the star beings, and the deep earth, so that the human heart can transform life, nurture life, be in relationship with life. Come on in. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Candace Knight and I would like to share with you about the possibilities for each one of us of being in a living conversation with the Star House. The core of really what I want to share with you is that in this relationship that I have had for these many years, what I have learned is that the star house and the land itself, the sacred sites that are actively tended, actually are resources for me. They're resources and allies, not only in my work at the star house, but in the work that I offer into the world. One of the things I do is to help people over that final threshold of um, leaving this body, this sacred temple, and moving on to what happens next. And there have been times, certainly, that that has been difficult. And that's when I realized that I can, in a moment, in a breath, call on the star house, call on the sights, call on the energy of deep knowing of nature, and instantly be supported I am supported because I am cultivating, because I am remembering, because I am allowing the Star House to work with me on all levels. The Sacred Arts Practitioner Certification Program is all about this. It is about cultivating this relationship and using it in your life. And that also applies to sacredness of our own temple, our holy bodies. And so I invite you to join us for Sacred Arts Practitioner Certification Program in May. Please come and have an experience of a lifetime. Thank you. Hi everybody. My name is Shanti Medina and I'm happy to be with you here today to share with you who I am a little bit and who, what I am bringing to the Sacred Arts Practitioner Certification Program at Star House. So as a young child, I had the blessing and the curse actually uh, to have an unsafe outer environment, a place where I wasn't unconditionally loved. And I learned at a very young age to be my own sacred arts practitioner. This is something that is true to all of us. I learned to navigate 
that inner environment and orient around my gnosis, my knowing that there's more to me than what is happening in my outer environment. This way to use my breath as a young child to calm my nervous system so I wouldn't cry in front of my mother or other ways to help myself feel safe and connected are tools and actually templates that I've brought into my modality called Body Current. And through the Sacred Arts Practitioner Certification, I will be helping you to come to this playground of the vagus nerve, the wandering nerve, that starts in our head and our cranium and wanders through our whole body. And I'll show you this playground so you can use your sacred imagination to see the place and space that we'll come to to work with what Stephen uh, Porges calls the, vague, the polyvagal theory. And through this space and place that you can see here, this nerve, this, you could see the green, the parasympathetic part of this vagus nerve that travels through to our gut. It's our sixth sense. And in the last 20 years of neuroscience, they've really proven what ancient wisdom has known, that where your attention goes, energy flows. And in the Sacred Arts Practitioner Program, we want to help you learn how to navigate from the inside out through these portals, keys, and codes that neuroscience has shown us. And through this research, along with many years of the work I've done through this modality, I invite you to come and play with us and ignite your initiation and wisdom in the sacred arts practitioner in you. I'm often asked, how did you learn how to tell stories, whether it be my personal stories or mythic stories. And I go to uh, one of my teachers that I started studying with about 15 or 16 years ago, Tom Brown Jr. And he was the first individual that I met that when he spoke, when he told stories, when he taught, he came from his deep knowledge and connection to the natural world. It was as if the whole of life was pouring through him. And it impacted me. It impacted me emotionally. It was the first time that I met someone that felt the same way about the natural world. And he told incredible stories. So first, to tell stories, I learned how to listen to stories. I learned what to listen for, not intellectually, but emotionally. And he gave us a skill, and that was go out into the natural world and speak your stories, speak your prayers to the wild, specifically to the trees. And it's something I did and still do today. And I've noticed that when it comes to speaking my stories to the trees and to the land, that they reflect back what is true, what is real, what hits them and what's, what, what meets them, what fills their reservoir, what makes their sap flow. And that has fine-tuned in me how to speak in a way that is coming from the natural world, wherever I am, if it is in a city or it is in a sacred grove, I am still aiming to feed place with what I say. In the Sacred Arts Practitioner Program, I look forward to teaching you, to guiding you, guiding you to a place where the land can teach you how to tell your stories, how to be in such deep connection, how to really be in connection with the land and speak from that place. I so look forward to to meeting you there. Hi, I'm Corinne. And, you know, years ago, my body started talking to me in a way that would not be ignored. And that required what I would now call level of sacred tending for me to be able to live my life and 
express myself and engage in activities and movement that I loved. That journey inspired me a few years later to relocate to Colorado. This was 2009. And I enrolled in the Rolf Institute to become a certified Rolfer and help other people realign their bodies in gravity and become re-empowered in their own systems for understanding what is this language that my body is speaking to me? How can I listen and how can I respond? And through this practice over the past eight years, what I've learned is that it's a total joy to be reconnected with the place of ourselves, to re-belong to our own bodies, our physical bodies, our energetic anatomy, to get to know ourselves intimately in this way. And after I arrived in Colorado and completed my training, I also learned of the Star House. And in the same way that my body had been calling to me, saying, hello, I want to be in relationship with you. <laughs> this land, this temple called out to me and we began a sort of mutual courting. Over these past several years, I've had the privilege and honor of discovering how my sacred structure and embodiment relates to the sacred structure of a very specific place on planet Earth. And this isn't just a metaphor. This is a lived embodied experience that I hope to invite and inspire through the SAP program this year. You know, this isn't a new practice. There's many people and cultures that are deeply in relationship with place and actually realize that our physical bodies aren't separate from place. And so through this SAT program, I invite you to come rediscover this at a new level and learn how the sacred structure of you and sacred nature and sacred temple can mutually enliven and activate and serve each other. Hope you'll join us. Earth, air, water, fire, bones, breath, blood, energy. We are nature. Nature is us. We are connected to every living being on this planet, both through our DNA and through the spiritual connection of being in the web of life together. There is a trend in our, in our culture today of feeling like we are separate from the natural world, like what we do to the earth doesn't matter, or that what we do to ourselves doesn't matter to the web of life on the planet. And yet that just isn't so. I'm Susie Kincaid, Starhouse Priestess, environmentalist, and nature-based coach. I'll be one of the guides on the wild nature portion of the Sacred Arts Practitioner Program. I'm really, really excited about that. My passion is reconnecting people to the natural world and to their place in the web of life. I've done this work through coaching and retreats all over the world, but nowhere is more special than the land of the Star House. This hundred acres in the Boulder Foothills is a very, very special and unique place. It's enlivened and um, in communication with human beings. I'm talking about the natural places here. And of course, the Star House herself. But we're gonna be outside reconnecting, rediscovering our place in that web of life, the strand that each one of us holds that's unique to us. We'll be at the Council Grove, communing with the elders from the past, and perhaps rediscovering our own lineage, that where we came from and where we're going, what's drawing us forward, that lineage. We'll be um, blessing the sacred water in Mary's well. And because we're 80% water, 
it's really great to have a loving, grateful relationship with water because as we take that in, it heals us and keeps us whole. We'll be in the labyrinth um, with our wondrous questions, our curiosity, and holding that, and gaining perspective on our place and what is ours to do. We'll also just be spending time in nature being human beings rather than human doings. Perhaps sitting at the base of a pine tree of your choice, smelling its scent in the hot sun, following its roots down into the earth, finding the deep stillness within our own being and experiencing and embodying how we change on a physical level and how our brain changes when we are at one with nature. It's an exciting exploration. It's going to be a fun journey and there's no place else I'd rather be doing that with you than on the Star House land. I'm looking forward to it and I hope you join us. You've just seen little bits of the wonderful faculty who will be wonderful in person to help you find and ground into your body the codes, the keys, the activations, the permissions, which do exist in the star house, in the sacred structure and the structures around, supported by sacred nature, and you learn them in your sacred body. We are so excited about this program and to bring into focus what this fabulous faculty will offer, along with what each of you will bring into an understanding of how to unlock the keys and the codes within ourselves as temple, within the star house as temple, how to build a container where a group of individuals can create an effective organism for functioning in service to earth realization. There's really nothing more important at this time than that we learn as sovereign individuals to come into a, a functioning group heart, mind, soul together for the good of the earth. So we use the acronym TEMPLE. We have a temple. Templates Indeed. have embodied mindful, mindful patterns for living, living on, on earth. earth. And Star House is a temple in the truest sense. So there'll be many things that we'll be able to share with you about how to unlock those codes and keys right. within oneself, within the temple, and then for the planet herself. For the planet, we're feeling the call, and perhaps you are too. And that call, if you re recall, going back to David's original statement of feeling called, mm -hmm. let this be a meeting place, let this place, this temple, be the meeting point where circles mm. of self, of community can come together to serve the great circle of life. Hope to see you there.